So we got a nice video for y'all. Today we do have some more builder information, okay? It seems like this might be one of the most advanced builders we've experienced so far. And it's looking interesting. Now, even for people who don't know how to create builds or who mess up their builds, because trust me, I know a lot of people say, yo, we don't need a system to let everybody create their own builds. You probably have never really walked around and checked people builds, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. There is some updates to the build. And of course, we got Eric and Zach Timman, who are 2K developers, dropping some info for us as well. So we got a few things to check out. So without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself that brew and let's get to the info you want 2k rumors and news you in the right place want a community that's cool you in the right space you want tips subscribe now and ring the bell then go to the park and give them hell the boot squad is an organization with all winners soldiers up in formation we all killers and when you step on the court yo you're our dinner when i play d in the fourth yo Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. so you're done no your boy brutal sim on the scene wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so y'all know what it is by now we're gonna get straight to the news so we're gonna get to like share and subscribe making a push to that 300k it's on the way y'all know how it is shout out to the brute squad in the comments the grind don't stop so 2k actually made this post right here again we're diving straight into it need help figuring out your my player build we're here with the assist on new gen model your game after some of your favorite players around the league with nba templates or use an all new interface to match your desired playstyle to curate builds from the experts at visual concepts with pro tune builds according to this post right here they got 40 nba builds and 74 pro tune Bills. So here's a quick screenshot right here to show y'all what you could expect coming in NBA 2K25. I mean, it is what it is. When we get our hands on again, we're going to see. But me personally, I like a little bit more control over my builder especially because it's not going to be cheap i don't want to create something and then it's patched but there are some advantages which we are going to dive into soon in the video here's a list of the nba bills that will be available day one now i will have to say this i was looking for darren fox but he is not here because i've been seeing some people out there moving with him and he looks shifty as hell john morant does look like a beast and steph curry so i think a lot of people Believe it or not, going to be going with these builds because there are some advantages to NBA player builds as well. So we're going to get into that. There are a few questions that was being asked about the builder. One of them was, for NBA builds, do we get all of the players' animation? And Zach Timmerman said yes. So that automatically comes with the NBA builds, even if it's not at the required overall. You At default, with those builds, you get the animations with them and i think that's a big plus so that's steph curry doesn't matter you're gonna get the animations john morant you're getting contact dunks out right with that john morant bill and that's dropping season one i think you could actually botch the system with those bills i'm being honest with you some of those bills night might not be that bad this year because they are coming with some bangers some big hitters outright let me know your thoughts in the comment section now zach timon did put this in he said in general they're a bit more well-rounded and not as many legend badges but that's intentional to give us users a way to impact the game in many ways let me know your thoughts on that now our next user asks if you edit one of those builds do you still get the animations with the player you picked he said if you change the build in any way it becomes custom and you lose the sig animations and the unique name so of course you can't really mess with them at all it's going to pretty much mess up every single thing though the benefit that comes with the bill which doesn't make sense i know there are a lot of questions when it comes to the pro tune bill so zach Timmerman did also address that as well pro tune bills use the same rules as all bills but they get sig animations that break rules and a unique name he said they're legit useful fun to play with will help out those unsure of how to make a great bill but will also help build makers see what we think are good levels to hit now this person asks a great question elaborate on the animations break rules for me please i'm lost it says signature animations often have attributes and size requirements you need to fulfill to equip the animations Protune bills and NBA bills ignore those rules at times. So 
this bill's gonna be the glitch in the matrix y'all now i don't know if this is good or bad i think it will be more good than bad but let me know your thoughts on these bills having a lot more flexibility than they are giving us that's what it sounds like to me let me know your thoughts now there are a few more q and a in discord of course somebody asked what format is proving grounds and this is big right here because i believe this what they're about to say about proving grounds is probably going to replace program for the most part probably going to replace rec for the most part probably going to replace damn near all the game modes because this is pure matchmaking with matchmaking lineup in terms of them matching you up with people on your level y'all so they said proving grounds 5v5 games are full games with five minute quarters so it's not to 21 and i did ask this on twitter but they probably already decided to answer it on discord but let me know your thoughts on that i really believe that this is a game changer everything that proving ground sung like it sung like something that the 2k community been asking for for a while in terms of matchmaking in terms of it being ranked in terms of reward in terms of having more rep just for being successful in proving grounds it sounds really really interesting like this is gonna be the new wave now few months you can come back and say brute you were wrong and i will gladly embrace it i'm not right about everything okay <laughs> it happens all right from what i'm seeing in the 2k community way more people are so excited about proving ground even pro-am players casual players alike even solo players y'all it seems like proving ground might be the wave going forward we'll have to wait and see of course now the next question was are you ranked individually or as a team improving ground said each player is ranked individually so can you go improving grounds with a squad it says squads are allowed improving grounds and matchmaking will prioritize squad playing against other squads so basically if you go in there solo they're gonna match you up against solo if you go in there against squad or with a the squad they're gonna match you up against squad so the matchmaking song like it's been done right when it comes to proving ground especially when it comes to your rank they're matching up against your rank as well but it's gonna be interesting to see how they match with different ranks on a team that's what's gonna be interesting man so let's continue on is there anywhere else in nba 2k25 besides proving ground where the shot meter will be disabled and this is a kicker right here because remember i believe they removed their shot meter because they wanted to combat zeners or titan users because one of the main instruments that help these cheating devices is or has been the shot meter and it said shot meter will be disabled in proving grounds program and anti-up so it seemed like they went for all the competitive game modes so if this does solve the cheating problem it's only for competitive game modes so if you rely heavily on the shot meter you probably won't be playing these game modes you're gonna go to wreck you're gonna play more park if they brought back theater of course you're gonna probably go to those modes so it's gonna be interesting to see how much this actually impacts the 2k community put it in the comment section what y'all think about 2k actually removing the shot meter from those game modes now this is a big question right here because it seems like a lot of people don't like what 2k did last year with resetting the record after each season so somebody asked will park and wreck records reset and say park and wreck records will not reset each season so now it's just going to be continuous now i'm not sure how i feel about this for the simple fact that i really think people being so focused on their win percentage is what kill a lot of things in 2k and i know it's be, it started off being pushed by content creators because they want to show how much elite they are from the average person that played the game but i think that and that just might be me and i'm willing to stand on that but what i saw is back in the day okay again i'm talking like an old head 2k 16 17 even 18 and 19 win percentage was not a big deal that's why the park was so successful people wasn't worried about win or loss they will come and keep running around until they end your streak and because they didn't have to worry about people judging them based on their win percent they didn't care about none of that all they knew is i want to beat this dude and by any means necessary i'm gonna beat this dude but when people became so much more conscious about win percentage, now people are like, nah, they're sweats, man. I can't deal with that. I ain't doing that, man. Hell no. It's going to mess up my record and people won't judge me. Even when people want to play with you, they're like, yo, what's your win percentage? Like, I don't even care about what's your win percentage. I care about, guess what? 
how do you like to play because a lot of times your win percentage don't really reflect your skill sometimes it does don't get me wrong but a lot of times especially if you run solo a lot it's very challenging to have a 90 win percentage damn near impossible when you play solo i don't care how good you are so sometimes it's fit and who you play with so people who tend to play more with squads tend to have have better win percentages naturally so i'll just that's that's just a uh area that i don't necessarily agree with the masses with in terms of that win percentage talk man that people just want their record so they could show off but y'all play with squads all day every day like so let's continue on now zach timon did post some more information about the max plus one badge he said come on question regarding the max plus one perk if you earn the max plus one slot you can swap badges in and out as much as you please now Remember the max plus one, I just want to go over this because some people might not know what max plus one is. The max plus one is a perk that actually help you elevate your badge one slot up. So if you got a gold badge, it's going to put it up to Hall of Fame. If you have Hall of Fame, you're going to put it up to Legend, right? So what he's saying right here is you will be able, now this will be throughout the season, you will be able to earn two, but you will lose them at the end of the season and have to re-earn them at the next season you have to re-earn them from the beginning at next season i think it's at 17 might be a first one and somewhere around 30 or so i'm just off the fly just you know it's not written down but you will have to re-earn these two within the next season every season they reset and you have to earn them again at certain levels within the season now i think 2k did put this in there so they could of course people gonna buy their way towards getting that badge promotion and you could move it around right here freely as you said you will be able to equip it and unequip it and put the next badge in this slot let me know your thoughts now let's continue on so like Timon made this post that when you earn cap breakers you can use them on every new and old save you have you're not tied down to how you use them in the past you could use five of them on your three point shooting on save one and you can use those five on perimeter defense on save two, for example. Remember, there's 15 available that will be spread throughout the rep level. So trust me, unless you grind to the end, do not create your build with at least 10 cap breakers in mind. I'm sure you damn near almost everybody will get to the first set, but we will have to wait and see where they're spread throughout the rep. There's no information on that as yet. We'll probably have to wait till the game drop to really get that type of info right now somebody asked can you see the new build name if there's a new one before upgrading or how does that work when you apply cat breakers if the build name can change you'll be given the option to keep your current one or accept the new one which is shown so that's when you have applied cat breakers they actually said in the past that the cat breakers will give you the ability to get new build names now i don't me personally i don't get excited for names I get excited for ability <laughs> all right i know a lot of people try to get bills based on their names and that's a big standout for them once my bill could do what i want that's where i'll be the, the most happiest man now zactivin also made this post in 2k24 when you upgrade attributes you could see which badges you unlock before you accept the change in 2k25 you can also see which takeover and animation your attributes upgrade will unlock hashtag mba 2k25 so not only you'll see takeover and badges, you'll also see attributes and animations, man. I swear, this is probably one of the most or one of the best builders I've seen. And I ain't even got my hands on it yet. But from what I've been seeing in the past, you could do all that. And plus, you'll be able to test out all of these animations, including custom jump shots and custom dunks, man. You'll be able to equip all that, go test it out before you even put a dime on your bill. That's a huge W. Long overdue feature, but better late than never. Let me know your thoughts. Now, somebody did ask him, so are cap breakers going to break the cap that our bill can get or will it just be as much as your wingspan or height allows? Now, Zach Timon, their response said, what's your size allows? Let me know what y'all think about that. Now, Zach Timon also posted this. He said, random thought, but I'm really looking forward to the day where a legit squad of five has a post core small forward with a stretch big. Very few small forwards invest in interior defense, barbecue, chicken, and that's where we'll end today, y'all. So, a lot of info, a lot of info, of course. Hopefully, 
you all understand everything I put out there because it's a lot to digest, man. But trust me, the game is close. We almost there. And I'm hyped, man. I can't wait till I get my hands on the builder because from what I understand with the builder, they did a really good job of giving you a lot of information. So before you even put a dime on your bill, you have all the information needed to at least understand how your bill will play. Now we'll have to wait and see how that competes against other bills. Even with the information that we got with all the videos everybody has been dropping, we don't even know how this will operate PVP, player versus player. Mano y mano, we still ain't understand that yet. We'll have to wait on that. But from what I'm seeing with this bill or with this builder, I'm not worried. Trust me on that. I am not worried. I know a lot of people, a lot of us will struggle at the beginning. Let's give us, let's give the game some time before we start complaining, y'all. Last year, we let's learn from our past. Last year, as soon as the game dropped, because he had a little learning curve, everybody was complaining, whining, and forced the 2K devs hand to go and make some changes. And I will ask y'all this: Mike Wayne, Zach Timman, Eric, the Sar, all the 2K devs out there, man. Even you know, LD 2K, shout out to LD, um, Ronnie, all y'all. The product, the vision y'all have for the game, stand on it. Stand on that vision this year. Don't make no drastic changes because the 2K community have a new system in place. All right. I already see that there's a huge change in the dribbling already. And even the defensive movement and stuff like that, the bomb steals. Let us learn the game. Give us some time. Let's go over that rough period. That, that 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 learning curve let us go through it first and give us some time before y'all just run back and just switch it back to make us feel comfortable because we known something to work a certain way in the past man that's all i ask but let me know your thoughts on the video how blessed one till next time be safe out there y'all peace and don't forget to hit that like y'all <laughs> peace